Audacity has released version 3.3.0 with some new features. You can browse the release notes to get a list of new features and bug fixes in this version. A very important feature is added in real-time effects. It has added support for some of the built-in effects. Real-time support for built-in effects will take Audacity to the next level. If you open the effect panel from real-time effect, you will see a new option Audacity appears. Adding effects from here works the same way as built-in effects. You can see the controls for the reverb effect. If I open the same effect from the built-in reverb effect, we will see the same configuration panel. You have to select the audio to apply the effect for built-in effects. The real-time effect works automatically on the track. You can see the same configuration option for reverb. Real-time effects will be more useful when support for most used effects like noise reduction, EQ, and compression will be added. A new effect, shelf filter, has been added to built-in effects. If you are used to with high shelf and low shelf filter, Audacity made the task easier for you. Audacity 3.3.0 has rearranged some of the items like project rate settings. Previously it was at the bottom left. Usually, we do not set the project rate before each recording, so it is moved to a configuration page. From the audio setup and audio settings, you can set the project rate. You can select a project rate for the current recording and a default project rate. Zooming behavior is slightly changed means it is giving better experience. A new ruler is added to see the sound level easily. Usually, we have to rely on playback meter to check the peak of a recording. It has now become possible to see the peak level of the audio from the waveform. It is similar to the logarithmic level. At the logarithm level, the exact value of the peak is hard to find. With a linear ruler, you can see the peak value clearly. A new delete button is added to the cut paste toolbar. Deleting is as simple as hitting the delete key on the keyboard. It is convenient for those who want to do everything with a mouse. By default, the cut paste toolbar is not shown. You have to enable it from the toolbar list. There is another toolbar added named the time signature toolbar. It is currently in beta stage. You can see a new toolbar added at the bottom. Audacity is heading to become a robust audio editing software.